Good morning. It's January the 19th, 2017. Time to kick off another trading day. Hope your evening went well. Mine did. We'll start off with our customary disclaimer. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations, unlike an actual performance record. Simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under or overcompensated for the impact, if any, of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity, Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they are designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Our methodology is not designed with the benefit of hindsight. It's live, it's raw data, it's real time. Um, and if you adopt it, you will be pleased. Okay, uh, the biggest factor influencing the markets over, la over the night is Yellen. And she said interest rates are going higher because the United States economy is strong enough to absorb higher interest rates. And uh, that took the dollar up, it took treasuries, and uh, gold lower, and currencies are lower. The E-mini is moving sideways. Uh, this morning we'll have the ECB um, announcement and press conference. Um, Mario, depending on what he says, can move the euro two to three full points. Uh, and if he says something just a little bit off message, um, he can move it one full point. So that's a lots of potential today if Mario goes off script. The script is supposed to be interest rates are fine, they're going to stay lo low for a long period of time while the European economy is starting to show signs of a uh, recovery. Um, that the economy of the EU still needs central bank support through low interest rates and its QE program and that while inflation has popped up the last two months, underlying inflation is low. So that's what the expectations are. No changes, no change in interest rates or anything else. Um, this morning, uh, China put over a trillion yuan into their markets last night to um, uh, give their banking system liquidity. And China's between the rock and the hard place. Uh, anytime their economy starts to slow down, they print more money. And uh, I don't know if they'll let, I, you know, someday something will happen, uh, take it away, even with all of that money printing, but that's not today. Okay, we have news in the U.S. today, starts plus 1.2 million, permits plus 1.23. That's a pretty fine pencil right there at um, three tenths right there, three one hundreds. Um, Jobless claims, 255. Philly Fed, 16. Natural gas inventories, minus 235 after last week's cold blast of weather. And in crude inventories, minus, plus a tenth. Uh, last night's APIs showed a draw of minus 5.4. So my guess is is that the EIA is going to show a draw too, that this number won't be met. I think we've had two reports uh, since September where the um, EIA report and the API have been at odds with each other. Uh, while crude drew 5.4, gasoline built 9.35 million barrels. So uh, either the fleet is getting a hell of a lot better mileage all of a sudden, or people aren't driving. Uh, and distillates built 1.17. So, the gasoline build and distillates build uh, offset the drawing crude. So we'll see what we get. Uh, I think we have a down bias. So we saw that late yesterday. Uh, Yellen's speech uh, took the dollar higher. That's where we're headed, so we're going to test support first. Uh, we'd like to get short first, so 11 to 15 will be sell 1. 19 to 23, sell 2. 
Got to change that blue. That's too light. Not coming through well. Um, I think stops below 04 there. Uh, we're going to put 1 to 5 as a potential buy zone. Buy 1. And then 25 to 29. Buy 2. Don't think our news this morning will do a lot. And then we have tomorrow's inauguration. And Trump um, told us, or Trump spokesmen have told us, look for 3 to 5 executive orders tomorrow. You know, the um, reporting on Trump and what he's going to do and is really, I mean, it just covers the waterfront. Uh, going to do this? No, he's not going to do that. You hear it from all different sides, so I think we'll just have to see what he's going to do. Uh, the press is always reporting that he's not going to do what he said he's going to do, and then Trump has to come back and clarify that and said, oh, yes, says, oh, yes, I am. So I think we're put in a position of just having to wait and see what, what comes. Um, I know that he's promised lower taxes and a much more business and friendly environment uh, than we have had. And hopefully we'll get that. Okay, uh, right now you can see that we have number one, 16 to 20. That picks up that high right there, like that. That's where we are. So 23, 27, just leaning against overnight resistance. Sell one. 31 to 03, sell two. On the buy side, we've got support 4 to 8, 29 to 01, buy 1, and then 17 to 21, buy 2. Gold got hit last night off of Yellen's statements, and it's traded down. Got down to 97. We had a 1200, 1202. I think we had a gold. Um, yeah, 1200 to 02 by one, 95, 97 by two, and in Globex we had a 97.30 low. So. The spill right here from eight, this two-letter ledge at five. So uh, I'm gonna play for eight to ten. Sell one. We'll put a question mark at uh, six and thirteen to fifteen for sell two. Uh, we'll take uh, ninety-eight to twelve hundred for buy one. And then 94, 96 for buy two. Let them get stops beneath that level right there. I think Trump's inauguration um, will, will hold us in a range. Okay, um, <clears throat> Draghi can move the euro and move it significantly. And you want to buy into the first correction or sell into it, depending on which way the market is moved. But no changes are expected in their policy. And you can see London is playing it that way. So, Got this high volume number up here at 10708. We've got a low volume number at 107, and that's where we find ourselves right now at 107. So 7 to 710, sell 1. 720, 730, sell 2. On the buy side, 75, buy 1. 50, buy 2. Crude oil didn't get much action for a draw of 5.4 million barrels. 
but products really, really built big in the APIs. And again, we um, we're looking at a 52 minus 53 plus market, and there's definitely strong selling above 53.50. So 53 even, 53.50 is resistance. 51.50. 52 is support, and we're currently at 52.39. So that's where resistance is. So 50 to 75, sell one. 53, 53 and a quarter, sell two. On the buy side, 51, 75, 52, buy one. And then 51 and a quarter, 51, 50, buy two. Rich genders will be on at 11 Eastern today, which is exactly when the news hits. So. Uh, we'll get see how Rich handles uh, that news. I'll tell you how Rich handles it. He doesn't trade into the news or after it. It's not consistent enough. Uh, it does not help his business plan. He lets the dust settle uh, and comes back and trades the next day. Remember, your bottom line is not determined by the percentage of winners or the rest of it is determined by the magnitude of your losses. And we all go about and do our studies diligently, trying to get the highest percentage of winners. And then we self-sabotage by moving stops or other things like that. Do that a couple, three times to get your head handed to you. And that's how you learn how not to do that. Okay, I wish I could be optimistic about some action in the E-mini today, but I mean, what's different about today than other days so got support at 2255 60 and we got resistance at 2268 to 70 and so that's the way we'll play it I mean this is resistance sell one 74 76 sell two on the buy side 60 62 buy one 55 57 my feeling is is that the market has built in um, expectancies for a friendlier business climate, and they've rallied the market in anticipation of such. So I think that uh, we'll see a rally into the inauguration tomorrow, and then hopefully uh, they'll hold it post the inauguration. And um, we'll see what happens. You know, this money's been long since November the 9th. I uh, don't see any reason for them to get out. Now, when after the inauguration, uh, perhaps we'll have rumor fact. That's been talked about a lot, too. If it's talked about a lot, it probably isn't going to happen. So that's another thing we'll have to watch for. Okay, it's going to take a bit to get everything up and posted. I'm going to get busy on that. I will be back with you as soon as possible.